we're on day six of a wonderful safari. Um, today is not as chilly as what we've had. Um, yeah, beautiful day. It went really well. Today we'll go off to some eland. Um, we've still got this elusive eland. And then we'll also look for some plain zebra or bushel zebra. And uh, hope we have a successful land today. It's a lovely brisk morning. Yes it is. Um, there's some black wildebeest in the plains, they haven't seen us or heard us. So we're just gonna climb this ridge and see if we see any zebras feeding somewhere. That way um, they haven't heard us, you know, coming around with the vehicle. And we'll be able to make a stalk on them while they're feeding. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing, we'll just come back. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> so we came for an early morning walk, we climbed on top of this little ridge and way in the distance we saw a herd of zebras so we will use the vehicle to get around and a bit closer and then we'll walk upwind and uh, see if we can cut them off, see if we can be successful. That's them, the other ones are coming over that ridge. Um, but the closest one to us has got a very light skin. We stopped a nice big herd of zebra, but they're in a plains area. And it looked like they're feeding in this direction, slowly but surely. So instead of taking a chance to chase them away, we're just waiting. Let's just see if they feed closer to us or close enough to us. Um, so we can have a good look. If there's a nice big one that we like, we'll go ahead and take it. Um, if not, we'll just pull back out and we'll go, look, go on and look for something else. They're standing right in that, just in the side of that thicker brush there. Mm. So just be patient and let them just move in a little further. It will go closer. They're being very, very careful. I don't know why, but anyways, they haven't seen us. Away from you. Just have a look at him and see if 
with the stallion behind that one that's looking at us also. Yeah, that's a nice big zebra. If you're happy with it, you can shoot it. The one that's looking at you. Yes, point of the shoulder. Just watch it. There he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down. Oh, what a shot. Oh, yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Well done. Yes. <laughs> yes, look at that shot. Perfect shot. Oh, yeah. Perfect where you needed to hit him. Beautiful zebra. Nice and big. Yeah, that's a big one. Beautiful, dark. Yeah, what a beautiful morning. We went early and uh, early this morning we walked on top of a little ridge. We spotted these zebras way, way off in the distance. And um, we headed that, their direction and made a stalk. We found them in some open plains, which was very difficult to get close to them. Um, so we had to be patient and wait for them to move in certain directions. And we were slowly but surely, we were able to get an approach on them to, uh, to about 250 yards, where you made a fantastic shot on a very big zebra. Did you enjoy that? I sure did. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was quite the, quite the, quite the stock. Um, looks like we got uh, the herd cow, lead cow here. She was definitely on alert and, and the biggest one in the bunch. And and I'm happy to to get a nice mare here because she doesn't have any bite marks like a stallion would have. And so, for a good quality rug, it'll make a make a nice rug, rug. And so, uh, yeah, it was a great, great, great shot. Uh, we got me on it within about 250 yards, like Rick has said, and, and anyway, that was the end of it. They're in the process of loading this uh, zebra here right now, and, and in the process here, is, uh, it requires a lot of people to, to it, in this production here of loading this zebra, and it provides work for the people here and, and meat, and uh, the whole crew, the skidding crew, the whole, everybody involved in, in processing this animal uh, is quite the process. And uh, it, it, it brings a lot of, uh, it helps, uh, helps for the meat situation and also the labor and, and provides labor and, and it's just a good, good all around um, uh, project for uh, when hunting these animals here in Africa. And, and, uh, and I'm happy to see it.